Today, I'm going to be teaching you the world's best car trick. This car trick is also known as the Chicago Opener as well as the Red Hot Mama. Don't know where that name came from. So yeah, this is a very impressive car trick that will just blow your spectators' minds and their reactions are going to be priceless. So let's get into it. So this is what the trick looks like. First, I'm just going to give these cards a few shuffles. Give it a good mix and maybe even give the cards a few cuts as well and that should be good. And now I'm just going to go through these cards and have my spectator pick any one card that they want. Let's just say it's going to be this one right over here. Go ahead and memorize that card. Once you have that card memorized, I'm going to lose it cleanly somewhere right inside the center of the deck. And now watch. All I have to do is snap my fingers and one card in the entire deck is going to change color. As you can see, one card which is going to be your selection, the King of Diamonds. Now watch, I'll do it one more time. I'm going to keep this card right over here and we'll have one more card selected. So as I go through these cards, you can say stop wherever you want. Right here, go ahead and memorize that card. Now I'll just lose it somewhere right inside the center of the deck. Now watch one more time. Just a snap and one card should change color. Wait a second. Well, that one card is already placed right over here which is your second selection, the nine of hearts. And now let's learn how this is done. Now here's how this trick is done. So for this, you're gonna need a card from a different deck of cards. In this case, I've used a black bicycle nine of hearts and you're gonna remove the nine of hearts from the deck that you're using as well. Now here's going to be the setup. You're gonna turn the deck over, place the nine of hearts from the deck that you're using and then take the nine of hearts from an indifferent deck and place it on the very bottom of the deck. And that is your setup. And now you're ready to begin. First, you're gonna spread the cards and have the spectator pick any one card that they want. This is a completely free choice. Let's say the spectators pick the six of spades in this case. You're gonna have no idea what card the spectator is going to choose in the performance when you're performing it to people, but that doesn't matter. Once you have the cards selected, you're gonna give the cards a cut you're gonna take the six of spades or whatever the card is, whatever the spectator selection is, place it on top and then place the rest on top. So basically your setup is going right on top of the spectator selection. So basically you're gonna take the card. So first you're gonna take the top half, place it on the table, have the spectator themselves place the card on top and the bottom half of the deck with the selection goes on top of that. And now what you're gonna do is pick these cards up and I can snap your fingers, wave your hands, do whatever you want. You're gonna spread through the cards until you come to the indifferent card right over here. And now what you're gonna do is get a break underneath the top two cards of this pile right over here. Now the way that you're gonna do that is like this. First, you spread the cards. When you see the black card, you're gonna push one more card after that, like that, so the next card as well. And then you're gonna square the cards up like that and get a break underneath the top two cards of this pile. That is just one way to do it or what you could do is spread through the cards until you see the black card, place these aside and then you can even do a pinky count to get a break underneath the top two cards of this pile like that. And now what you're gonna do is do a double lift over here like that and reveal the spectator selection, the six of spades has changed color. Now you're gonna take both these cards and you're gonna turn them over at once and say that I'm actually going to do this one more time. So if you missed it the first time, you can pay attention the second time to figure out how it is done. Now you're gonna place it aside. Now these cards are just gonna go on top of these cards right over here. And now what you're gonna do is force the nine of hearts, which is now at the bottom of the deck to the spectators. Now you can do this however you want. What I did in the performance was the Hindu force. So you basically just peel off card from the top like you would do a Hindu shuffle and whenever they say stop you actually square up and show them the bottom card of the deck which is going to be the force nine of hearts now there's many many ways to do a card force you can even do you know the uh, riffle force have them say stop and then show them the nine of hearts and now once you have forced them the nine of hearts can then go into the center of the deck you don't have anything to do with the nine of hearts right now and now you're gonna say that, you know, I'm just gonna snap my fingers, wave my hand, do whatever you want, and say that now one card in the deck should have changed color. But obviously this time there is no other black card, but you're just gonna pretend like the same thing is gonna happen. One card is going to change color. And now you're gonna act confused. Oh, wait, and now you're gonna spread the cards on 
the table and say, oh, wait a minute, the one, there is only one black card and that black card is placed right over here. And now you can even have the spectator turn this card over or you can turn this card over, it doesn't really matter. And boom, they see the nine of hearts. And trust me, the reactions right now are going to be priceless. They literally just saw this, the six of spades or the, whatever selection there was placed right over here. And suddenly the second selected card has just somehow appeared to be the, the black card that was placed aside. So yeah, this effect is going to be pretty amazing. The spectators are going to be very confused and this is definitely going to amaze your spectators. So that was it for this video guys, I really hope that you enjoyed and if you did then make sure that you smash the like button and if you want to see more videos like these then make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to learn another really amazing card trick, that video is right over here. I'll catch you there.